Member of Parliament for Cat Island, Romke and San Salvador and Progressive Liberal Party leader Philip Davis criticizing government's new budget. Davis touched on the government's fiscal plan for state-owned enterprises, borrowing expenditure and Bahamas Power and Light operations as well as a recent $250 million loan approved by the International Monetary Fund. The Minister of Finance has indicated it is to go to the budget for 2019-2020. In which case, I ask, is that to be added to the $1.3 billion deficit already reported? Because he's borrowing it. Right? The minister should at the earliest possible time table the letter of request signed by him and sent to the IMF. The government has agreed for the IMF to publish this letter and for the accompanying uh, analysis to be published, but has neglected to bring these documents to the House. Finance Minister, Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable KP De Turnquist, clarified the IMF loan matter for Davis. The member would know that we operate in fiscal years, which ends at June 30th, 2020. If the $250 million from the IMF is included in the budget, re the, the supplemental borrowing resolution that was brought to this House and approved. So it's not an additional, any additional uh, a deficit uh, implication of that. Uh, as I projected in my speech, the projected deficit now with the supplemental borrowing plus the additional expenditure that we anticipated as a result of COVID-19 is going to be somewhere around $770 million.